Look, news on it, the campaign registry. The campaign registry, people had to put in bids now, blind. All redacted contracts, no, all redacted numbers. Uh, the opening bid is $300 million. So there's a bunch of private equity groups and you morons out there. They're talking to me and my guys on diligence. So I think we've knocked out a dozen PE groups, Tata. So just to be aware, um, get on the phone, call your attorneys, clean this thing up. We're going to keep going until you get zero for it. And quite frankly, how is anybody buying the campaign registry with Google and RCS now being lit up? It's on my phone. Works good. What, Google's going to need you? So, look, I wanted to just point out that good news. Oh, and by the way, InfoBit officially is taking out Cineverse for T-Mobile. The news is around their net. Well, has taken over Twilio Cineverse because I think some traffic started finding its way into uh, the P2P routes. And, and T-Mobile, tip my hat for them, they're, they're making moves. So, oh, yeah. But also with you, InfoBit, Info they're also got directs into AT&T and Verizon as well. Is that correct? I, I haven't confirmed that, but I would think yeah. one goes, one follows. I mean, T-Mobile yeah. is, is leading the way. And I remember in my discussions when I tried to buy it to T-Mobile people, their whole argument was, we don't really need this campaign registry. I mean, you put out the, the Global Telco Consult report, which now has been banned, yeah. which you should put it out again, because mm -hmm. I was only banned by putting it out. Yeah. Um, but look, T-Mobile is a leader. T-Mobile has a $235 billion market cap. They're eating everybody else's lunch. Oh, yeah. They're, yeah. they're aggressively... Uh, making moves here to clean up their network, to clean up spam. They came out with those $4,000 fines. I don't think they know what to do. Yeah. But today, the end of the day, they... today, Infobit did an announcement where it said, I have directs with all three major carriers in North America. So in that, Listen. also the said claim they can do approvals, you know, the, the whole sort of campaign approvals within 24 hours. Well, right now, if you're, if, you're a, if you're a customer of Cineverse, mm -hmm. Cineverse sends you to InfoBit to approve the campaign. Yes. Now, as we all know, the campaign registry is just write your name on a piece of paper, according to John Wick from Cineverse, right? So it's that's just a, okay. a joke, a, a joke of in itself. But yeah, there's something going on with InfoBit. Gotcha. I think, look, they got JP Morgan, biggest bank in the world behind them, right? Yeah. They're out there winning all these awards. They're being aggressive. Uh, I see an IPO. All I read in that press release, and I wrote it on their post, is IPO, IPO, IPO. <laughs> I saw. So I see the the IPOs on the scale. I mean, they're they're, they're killing it on the short code stuff. Yeah. Um, you but, know, other than that, so the TCR sale, I see what Infobip announced as a big question mark because I sort of go, wait a minute, is this listen, they're, they're going to try to get a sucker private equity group? Okay to buy it. And then the frame job guys, the campaign register are going to try to get themselves a cut, just like they did with me when they came to me to buy it. Okay. So look, it's, it's, it's all a scam. And, and look, one other question and one other thing is, is, you know, this RCS announcement and why is Cinch running around? Like they want a ticket to like Wonka land. Uh, like they got the golden ticket and they're going to meet Willy Wonka. I, I don't know, but that may be a question for these guys later, but look, well, it's position just, to the brands. It's like, you want RCS? We got RCS. Yeah, I don't know what that means. I go at like, what Google and Apple are going to be nice to everybody. Guys, the same. <laughs> um, but look, I, the carriers are going to hide behind Google and Apple in the USA. Messaging will not be regulated. They won't have the headaches of voice. So hats off to the mobile operators to giving it to them in the United States.